తెలుగులో చేయనా గొప్ప దేవుడ మీ కొందరములు దయగల తండ్రి మీకు స్థుతులు ప్రభు మమ్మల్ని ప్రేమించి ప్రభు మీకు మీరు మాకు ఇస్తున్న ఆత్మీయ ఆహారాన్ని బట్టి మీ కొందరం తెలియజేస్తున్నా నాయన మాకు ప్రోత్సాహపరుస్తున్న మా యొక్క సీమోన్ పాస్టర్ గారిని బట్టి మోహన్ గారిని బట్టి అలాగే ప్రభు ఈ మీటింగ్ లో అందరూ మా కోసం ప్రార్థన చేస్తాం మేము కొంతమంది కోసం ప్రార్థన చేయగలుగుతున్నాం ఇలా ఒకరిని ఒకరిని మనం ప్రేమించుకుని ప్రభు మేము ఆత్మీయ స్థితులు ఎదగటానికి మీరు చూపిన కృపణ బట్టి మీకు స్థుతులు అట్లాగే మా కోసం ఎంతో మంది ప్రార్థన చేస్తున్నారు ఇట్లా దాని బీహార్ లో మేము కొద్ది మందిగా ఉంటూ ఉండగా ఈ కొద్ది మంది అనేక మందిగా మారటానికి మీరు సహాయం చేయండి ఈ యొక్క వాక్యాన్ని అందరికి షేర్ చేసుకునే బాధ్యత మాకు దయచేయండి ప్రభు మాతో పాటు అనేక మందికి ఈ వా ఈ వెలుగు ప్రసరింప చేయడానికి మీరు మాకు కృపు చూపించండి మేము కూడా టైం ప్రకారంగా ఫాలో అవటం గాని ప్రభు మీ ఎంత వరకున్నా ఈ వాక్యాన్ని అశ్రద్ధ చేయకపోకుండా ఉండడానికి మీరు కృపు చూపించండి గొప్ప దేవుడ మా కోసం నాయన ఎన్నో ఉంటాయండి ఎంతో ప్రాజెక్ట్ వర్క్ లో మిగిలి చేస్తున్న కృషిని మేము నాయన గుర్తు చేసుకుని అనేక విధాలుగా దీన్ని ఎక్కడ అశ్రద్ధ చేయకపోకుండా ఉండటానికి మీరు కృపు చూపించండి వచ్చిన వాళ్ళందరిని ఈ గ్యాదర్ అయిన ఈ మీటింగ్ ని బట్టి మీకు స్థోరి తెలియజేస్తున్నాం అలాగే ప్రభు ఇంకా గ్యాదర్ అవ్వని వాళ్ళని బట్టి కూడా ప్రభు ఏ కారణం చేత వాళ్ళు గ్యాదర్ అవ్వలేదు మాకైతే తెలియదు కానీ అందరం వీక్లీ వన్స్ టైం కలుసుకుని ప్రభు నిన్ను గణపరచడానికి మీరు మాకు సహాయం చేయమని మీరే మహిమ ఘనత ప్రభావాలు మా ద్వారా పొందమని యేసు క్రీస్తు అతి శ్రేష్టమైన నామం అడిగి వేడుకొంచున్నాం తండ్రి ఆ మెయిన్ అన్నా పాడుతున్నానమ్మా శృతి గాంగా హేషు మేరే కుదాకార హేషుమా కోటి కోటి స్తుతి ధన్యవాటి కోటి స్తుతి ధన్యవా యోగ్యతా బడతే దియాపే దయా తూ మూ యోగ్యతా బడదే దియాపే దయా తూ మూ మంగే సి జాదమిలా మూజే మంగే సి జాదమిలా మూజే ఆ ధన్యవాస్తుతి గాంగా హేషు మేరే కుదాకారేషుమా కోటి కోటి స్తుతి ధన్యవా జిందకుదా तुझे पर ही भरोसा मेरा तू है सच जिंदा खुदा तुझे पर ही भरोसा मेरा सेवा पूरी करके पाओ इना प्रभु శాస్తుతి గా హే శు మేరే కుదా 
उपकारते येशुमा कोटि कोटि स्तुति धन्यवाद कोटि स्तुति धन्यवाद थैंक यू ब्रदर थैंक यू थैंक यू पास्टर सर मोहन गार अंदर इंग्ली अर्थम मन okay uh this is a leaders of uh, leaders for christ group so especially this uh, group is for uh, english medium pastors those who can understand the english for them specially on every monday uh, since uh, a year we are doing this so you can encourage any pastors or any church worker to join this meeting from uh, today actually team 21 from uh, korea it uh, along with pastor satya they they were teaching us but uh, from uh, last week on me and pastor satya will take care of this if uh, any pastor if god's will then we can uh, bring that pastor to train us more into the gospel but uh, until then we we will go through the ten gospel letters again uh, some more detail deeply so please try to understand our subject is gospel letters maybe our leaders of leaders they know about this one but uh, as much as many time we hear about this and read these scriptures we will be uh, well equipped and we will understand more what it is so entire bible uh, we summarized as uh, 10 letters so that uh, people can understand easily in the true gospel mission so gospel letter first meeting why we call it first meeting you think that this is our first meeting so in the first meeting about what we need to discuss what we need to know so in that sense and uh, when we meet second week means following week next week we will uh, understand the second topic so the second meeting third meeting like that 10 gospel letters as 10 meetings we will see what it is so today's topic is why people cannot find happiness as a christian you must know that people are not happy the people that have money the people that have health the people that have education or the people that have success in their lives you may think that they are more happier than others when you go and talk with them you know how many struggles difficulties those people are facing in every day's life so every person every person they have the sorrow in their lives the people really they cannot find the true happiness in their life actually when god created adam and eve the first mankind they were very happy because they were with god they were created in the image of god so really they were very happy they were not having any 
problems in their lives. But now people are not happy. We will go through this topic. Why people are not happy? What happened in the people's life? So Romans 3, 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. This verse says why people are not happy. About people's life, this uh, verse is summarized. Because people are sinning. People sinned so that only they lost hold of the glory of God. Fall short of the glory of God means they lost hold of God's glory. They lost hold of God's image. When they sinned, they lost hold of God's spirit. When they sinned, they lost hold of God's blessings, heavenly blessings, power and authority, everything they lost. Losing glory is losing everything. So what happened indeed? Why people are not finding happiness? Here we see why people can't find happiness and are living in suffering. They are not finding true happiness. Instead, they are living in so many sufferings. Some suffer with a family problem. Some are facing family problems. Some are facing health issues. Some are facing financial matters. Some are facing mental problems and so on and on. Suffering may be different. Problem may be different. But every person is going through one or the other problems. And without finding happiness, without finding true happiness, people are turning to drinking. People are going for drinking because they want to find out the happiness. They want to be happy. They think that if they take alcohol, they will be very happy. And people are going for gambling. They think that if I go for playing gambling, I can be happy. I can have some peace of mind. People are going for watching dances. They are dancing. And self-indulgence. Many uh, self-indulgence works are there in the people's life as an habit because to find out the happiness. But the truth is they become unhappier. They become more unhappier than before. And uh, what is the reason for all this? What is the reason for all the un unhappiness of the people? Why people are not happy? And uh, you and me must not be deceived thinking that people are happy. Only I am suffering. I am only having so many problems but others are very good. Really, they are very happy, you may think. But out of few days, few weeks, few months, there will be more suffering in front of your eyes itself. Because that's not the true happiness. If you find out the happiness in the world, it is temporary, right? So, we, we, have, we are going to see what happened exactly, why people are not happy. The first main point is because people are separated from God. This is the most important reason. The most important reason why people are not happy because they are separated from their God, their creator God, their father God so that nobody is happy. Instead of coming back to God, they are going, we, uh, we all are going away and away from God. That's why we are not happy. And how we separated, how people separated from God is more important. The first point says, because of disobedience. Because of disobedience, people are separated from God. As you and me know, this disobedience causes people to not know God. 
they are blinded god ha god had made or covenant not to eat the fruit of good and evil but they ate it listening to satan's words many time we don't want to listen to god but easily we listen to satan and we listen to people and we listen to ourselves many time we need to be obedient to god but adam and eve they disobeyed and uh, that is called the original sin john 10:10 10, 10 says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy we need to understand this all happened because of the thief who is that thief the thief is satan that satan ha- had entered the garden of eden he want to steal adam and eve from the presence of god from the glory of god but he, he cannot steal himself he he want to deceive them he want to make adam and eve to be disobedient to god that's why he came to eden garden he deceived them that's why romans 3:23 says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god because of one man adam and eve everybody was sinners second point says as a result people fell into sin because of one person's sin that sin is called the original sin because of that original sin we all became sinners that's what romans 3:23 clearly says for all have sinned for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god we came through adam and eve that's why when our forefather adam and eve they committed sin they disobeyed god because of their disobedience we also became disobedient because we are the descendants of adam and eve right so second point says sub point as a result people fell into sin romans 3:10 says as it is written there is no one righteous not even one who can say that i am righteous who can say that i am righteous person nobody bible says nobody not even one not even one no any religious founder no any businessman no any sadhu no any guruji swami ji no not even one because all are sin of fall short of the glory of god no one is excluded everybody are included here all the human kinds are included here so everybody became unrighteous the result is because of one man everybody became sinners the second uh, third point all kinds of suffering began as far as speaking about the main point because of the disobedience people are separated from god all people they were separated from god and as a result everybody became sinners and as a third point all kinds of suffering began when people separated from god when people are separated separated from the true god what kind of sufferings for example mental suffering mental suffering is matthew 11:28 says come to me all you who are weary and uh, burdened and i will give you rest how how come we become weary and burdened when we were separated from god only we are worrying for everything we feel burden for everything but original man is not created in this way the original man is created the adam and eve were created in the image of god to be with god to be happy with god they were very comfortable with god but when they sinned and separated from god they fell into all kinds of sufferings and the holy spirit left them and the evil spirit came into them evil spirit controlled them that is a mental problem 
and the b point fruitless and unbalanced living started matthew 12:25 says jesus knew their thoughts and said to them every kingdom divided against itself will be ruined so and every city or household divided against itself will be will not stand so we as a children of god we need to think about god whereas the people became fruitless in the sight of god and they were unbalanced the original man lost the balance how to live and he started to live by himself as he likes c point says afflicted with the physical illnesses people are afflicted with the so many physical problems acts 8 7 and 8 says acts 8 7 and 8 says for with shrieks impure spirits came out of many a many who were paralyzed or lame were healed so here we are saying so many people with the shrieks and impure spirits and so many people who were paralyzed and who are who were lame people came to the philip and he healed them all in the name of jesus but our point is how come this all people have so many physical problems the reason is they were separated from god that's what we need to understand matthew 8 16 and 17 also says when evening came many who were demon possessed were brought to him and he drew out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick all the sick so people were with so many physical sicknesses when jesus was on this earth even today we are seeing people with so many problems physical problems people are born with so many problems by birth itself they have so many physical problems how come this they didn't do any pro- sin right they didn't commit any sin they did not they did not do any wrong things then why people are being born in so many sicknesses because our forefather adam and eve they sinned and they were separated so that all kind of suffering started and the root cause is spiritual problem it is not the physical problem why people are facing so many problems we think that uh, because of the physical problems no jesus christ came to solve the spiritual problems because we were not aware of that and we should understand the root cause of all the human kind's problem unhappiness unbalanced life is the spiritual problem the spiritual problem what is the spiritual problem being separated from god the living god that is the biggest problem why today you and me are going and proclaim the gospel why you and me are preaching the gospel to the people because we want to bring them back to god they do not know who god is they forgot they were not aware of their creator by god's grace you and me understood who god is who our creator is who our savior is so after knowing the truth we are going up proclaiming people to believe jesus christ people are not know they do not know the spiritual problem the spiritual problem always understand the spiritual and the biggest problem of human kind is separating adam and eve sinned and he expelled out of the eden garden god sent sent him out of the garden so he was separated from god and we want to go back to eden garden we want to go back to god if you do not go still we are under the spiritual problem 
And the fourth point is to find a solution, people turn to superstition or religions. To find out the solution for mental problems and fruitless, unbalanced living and all kinds of physical problems, people go for the superstitious work. They turn to religions. If they do some religious works, religious rituals, they think that they will receive the answers. They will receive the blessings in their lives. But no, they cannot. Problem becomes even more. So the second mind problem, mind point, the Bible tells us when this unhappiness began. Only Bible tells when this unhappiness is began in humankind, in the people's life. The first point, it began during the time of humankind's first ancestors, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were the representative of all humankind on this earth. They were the first ancestors of all people. So we need to understand about that. They were the cause. The problem, the spiritual problem began during the Adams and Eve's time. The second point says, the root cause disobeyed, disobeyed God's word and sinned. That's what it is called the original sin. What is the root cause of the problem? Disobeying God's word and sinning. The disobedience is God said not to eat the fruit. They had it. They, they obeyed Satan instead of obeying God, the Father. Genesis 3 1 to 6 says, Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, means the Satan said to woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from the, any tree in the garden? That is the question. Of course, Adam and Eve knew that one. They knew very well that they should not eat, even. You said we should not touch also. That much thoroughly they know the covenant of God. But Satan deceived them. Satan said, yeah, we see, you will not certainly die. You will not, if you eat this fruit, you will not certainly die. The serpent said to the woman, for God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like God. That's, that is the statement he gave. You will not certainly die. Instead, your eyes will open and you will become like God. And uh, Adam and Eve were deceived. They took the fruit and they had and they disobeyed God. And the third point says, the result, the result of disobedience is fell into suffering and curses. Genesis 3, 16 to 19, we read, to woman, God says, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Do you know the reason why the women are more suffering during the childbirth? Nobody know the reason. Nobody know why women are suffering so much. They give their life to give birth to a new baby. That is a curse. That is a curse from God. Till today, One of, one of my uh, pastor daughter asked me one, one, once. She told me Jesus Christ came 
and he died for us adam and eve sinned and everybody is sinned jesus christ came and he died for all human kinds and we believe that god has taken away all our sins and curses from us then why god did not take away the pain of this uh child birth when a, a woman gives birth to a child why she is still suffering why she is having pain still that's what she asked me she was about like a 10th 10th standard she was study she asked me that question hmm? so i told her uh by god's grace i don't know uh, how you understood i don't know what's your answer for this question but what i understood was this will be there until jesus christ returns why because people must understand why they are suffering from where it is started this all started this all problems pains started from the eden garden so everybody must understand that problem that's what it is still there that is my uh, understanding of that point still people are suffering all the women are suffering and uh, the second thing god said to the man that he should painfully toil and uh, will eat food from it all the days of your life it will produce thorns and thistles for you and you will eat the plants of the field that's what when original man adam and eve were created they were not uh, suffering for the food they were not toiling for the food god used to provide them everything but because adam and eve sinned they have to labor for their food this this the the problem that bible tells this problem no nowhere we can find so this is the important thing we need to understand why people are unhappy and from where all this started this all started from adam and eve by disobey god's word and the third main point says how long does this unhappiness last for how, how many days for how many weeks for how many years this unhappiness will be there in people's life we see here three points it continues now from the eden garden it started from eden garden garden of eden but uh, even till today it continues Ephesians 2, 1 and 2 says, As for you, you were dead in your trespasses and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world. That's what the Bible says. We were dead in our trespasses. We were dead in our sins. That's why all suffering even, they continue today. a second one it will be worse people are trying to solve their problems people are trying to solve their problems but they do not know that they it will be worse they are trying to solve the problems they are trying to be happy but it will be worse in the beginning itself introduction part we read people are finding their happiness by drinking the alcohol playing gambling and uh, unbalanced like so many like like a drug addictions and so many things they want to find out that the happiness in them but when they are addicted to them their life become more worse and their life become more pitiful they will face more problems than before it cannot be fixed by people's life people themselves the third point says gets worse the more we try to solve how much we try to solve that much it will become worse matthew 12 43 to 45 says 
when an impure spirit comes out of a person, it goes through arid places, seeking rest and does not find it. It says one, one evil spirit leaves a person, he will feel some comfort, comfort, he will feel some relief, happy. But the spirit which goes out of him, that evil spirit will bring seven worst spirits then itself. And they come into that person's life and his life will be more worst than ever before. So that this unhappiness will be continuing and uh, without Christ, how much we solve, it will be more worse. And the fourth main point says, then why does, why doesn't this unhappiness go away? Why, what is the reason that this unhappiness is not going away from people's life? We see here, few points. The first one, uh, being exists to cause unhappiness. One being, a being means one person exists in this world to cause all kinds of unhappiness in people's life. And uh, the second point is the name appears in the Bible. The name of that one person who is causing all unhappiness in people's life Bible only reveals, Revelation 20 verse 2 says, He says the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil or Satan. So this is the names given to him. So he is called Satan, he is called the devil, he is called demon. One and the same person, one and the same spirit, but in different names. Satan is there in this world. That is the reason why people are unhappy. We All the people became the child of the children of Satan. Instead of God's children, people became the children and the slaves to Satan. That's why they were not happy and they cannot be happy. In the beginning we read John chapter 10 verse 10. Satan comes to steal and uh, he will destroy the people. Thief comes to steal and kill and destroy. Those who are the children of Satan, surely they will be ruined later on. The third point says, when did he appear? When did this devil appear? When did this Satan appear? Nobody knew out of the Bible. People do not know who this Satan is. From where did he come? So, Bible clearly says, here we see a few points under the third point, an angel corrupted in heaven, an angel. Ezekiel 28, 14 to 19, it says clearly, I will read only highlighted in red color. You were blameless in your ways from the day you were created till wickedness was found in you. It is speaking about Satan. He was an angel of light. He was a cherub, cherubian, a guardian cherub in the heaven. He was created by God. But what happened here? God expelled him out of heaven. Why? Because the reason is your heart became proud on account of your beauty. And you corrupted your wisdom because of your splendor. He was proud. He was proud. That's why God chased him, expelled him out of the heaven. And he was thrown out into the air. Ephesians 2 verse 2 says, In which you were used to live in, you followed the ways of this world and the ruler of the kingdom of the earth. That's what it says ruler of the kingdom of the air. Who is this person? He is Satan. God expelled him to the mid-air. And third part says, C point, he, up, he appears on earth 
condemns people who condemns satan whenever people are away from god whenever they are away from god when they do not worship the true god really he condemns them because they stand as a sinner b part says he is destined to go to hell the final destiny of satan is hell nobody can change his destiny nobody can change his fate matthew 25 41 says then the then he will say to those who those on his left depart from me you who are cursed into the eternal fire prepared for the devil that's what it said the eternal fire the hell is prepared for the devil so he will go at the end satan will be thrown into the hell and we see here uh fifth point we see fifth mind point what happens if you live not knowing god if people live without knowing god on this earth then what happens we uh, see seven points under this the first point is spiritual problems come what is a spiritual problem if you do not know the real god the creator god then you become the child of god and you live as a slave to satan john 8:44 says you belong to your father the devil the people do they do not understand christ they are people that never accept christ as their lord and savior they cannot be the children of god instead they they are belong to satan they belong to their father who is devil that is a spiritual problem being child of god we separating from god and becoming the children of devil is the spiritual problem second pro, second point suffer without knowing the cause this is very very uh, problematic right if you know why we are suffering if you know the reason then okay but without knowing the cause without knowing the reason people are suffering that is what happens if you do not know god a third one live without happiness if they do not know the true god if they do not know problem for all this unhappiness they have to live in the unhappiness there is no way out of it and a fourth point says live without peace those who are away from god they have to live without peace in their heart and in their mind and a fourth point we see physically they suffer acts 8 4 to 8 we see physically they suffer if they do not know christ if they do not know their god surely they suffer so many physical problems and a sixth one mentally they suffer acts 16 16 to 18 we see there's a girl who was a uh, the servant girl who used to prophesy who used to tell the fortune of the people mentally she was possessed by evil spirit and uh, by the help of the evil spirits she used to fortune say the fortunes so this happens if they do not know the god if there there is no holy spirit in their hearts of course he will spirits occupies and uh, finally the person who do not know christ and if he live without understanding without knowing god properly he will end up in hell he will go to hell finally luke chapter 16 22 to 24 says from rich man and the lazarus child of god and child of sarda child of god lazarus he dies and he goes to heaven rich man the son of devil dies and he goes to hell if you do not know christ properly if you do not accept this christ properly then we have to end up in hell that's what bible clearly 
says and the sixth pro sixth main point the comfort from people is only temporary please you need to understand this there is a comfort there, there is a happiness there is a peace in the world and i'm not saying that there is no joy there is no peace there is no happiness in the world but we need to understand that happiness is worldly happiness that happiness is carnal that happiness is only for a pleasure and it ends up bringing greater unhappiness I mean the short time only that happiness the that's why jesus said the peace that i give to you is not like the peace you get from the world it is not like worldly peace the peace that i give you it will be forever it will be forever the worldly peace if you are happy with the money when money goes from you you will become unhappy again if you are happy with your job when you lose your job you will become again unhappy if you are happy with your wife your children your parents whatever you are happy in when they depart from you when they go away from you the happiness also will go but the the happiness that god gives is not the temporary nobody can take it away from you so the happiness from the world is temporary that's what we you need to understand those who all are happy without knowing christ their happiness is temporary and uh, finally we see the seventh point healing what we need to heal we need to heal the people with the so many problems there are uh, people there are fortune tellers in the world so many fortune tellers are there in the world but what they are doing they are um, saying fortunes good about the people they are misleading the people they do not they do, don't want to let people come to god so they are showing the false ways to go away from the living god they are indulged in kanjuri and they are indulged in sorcery they do all kinds of these things because to get the happiness in the world we need to heal all of these people we need to tell them see the fortune teller was there when uh, paul entered and uh, acts 16 chapter 16 we see on a slave girl she was fortune teller paul healed her and uh, a sorcerer in acts chapter 13 when paul entered in a uh, cyprus island the first person he met was a sorcerer and uh, yes of course uh, paul healed he healed so many sorcerers fortune tellers and all kinds of uh, mentally problematic people so this is our uh, challenge to the long term experiences will absolutely result in failure in the long run so uh, if people they want to uh, heal these all things away from god away from the word of god so they become more problem to them in the future as we saw if only evil spirit goes seven comes the same way we do not want to heal these people with our ideologies we need to heal them with the word of god the second point said there is a way to the eternal freedom only one way is there we need to understand genesis chapter 3 because all the problems started from genesis chapter 3 genesis chapter 1 and 2 really a great blessing the real man the original man lived happy life genesis chapter 1 and 2 but in the 3 he disobeyed god and he fell short of the glory of god he lost hold of all the heavenly blessings and uh, to to have this eternal freedom we need to accept we need to have faith in jesus christ john chapter 1 verse 12 says yet to all who did receive him to those who believed in 
Jesus name Jesus gave the right to become children of God so only one way to heal all these people there is only one way there is only one name that is Jesus so when you and me believe in Jesus we become the child of God and uh, authority will be given to you and me the authority is God with us amen Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 says and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always that is the Immanuel blessing and to the very end of the age he will be with you so no need to worry God, if Jesus is with you believe that his authority is given to you you have the power you have the authority pray and the main problem you need to understand Genesis chapter 3 and uh, to solve all this Genesis chapter 3 problem believing Jesus Christ is the only way if you believe Jesus then surely we are uh, in the beginning we were separated from God but when you believe this Jesus he will be with you that means God comes to you and he lives with you forever to the very end of the age so this is the first gospel letter why people are why people cannot find happiness why because they are separated from God why because there is a being there is a, a spirit the evil spirit devil is there and is making people to fall into all unhappiness more and more so understand this uh, first gospel letter so the second gospel letter will be connected to you very well thank you and uh, let's do forum and uh, finish praise lord to all praise lord uh, uh, sorry for the inter uh, interfering can you give a little bit of time because of the some leaders are joined in our team today newly uh, they are uh, many years on was they dedicated their young uh, teenage and 